If Summer Walker were my clients, these are the things we would be working on because, girl. <laughs> this video is for you. If like Summer Walker, you keep partnering with the same man, he just has a different face, or you're with the same guy and you keep hoping, wishing that he'll change. Hey, I'm Dr. Sharice, and I help black men and women heal from trauma and toxic relationships. So I've been following Summer Walker for a while. <laughs> a while. Long before she got plastic surgery, long before she had her first kid. I've been following Summer Walker. And the pain, to people like me, empaths, healers, like this is literally the work I do. I can see the pain, clearly. And every time a year passes, another baby is born, another relationship, I keep hoping that Summer Walker gets it, wakes up. Some people never do in life, I get it, but she's so talented and her gift is so large and she has, can make such an impact in the world that, you know, I just have a space in my heart for her. So if she were in front of me right now, if she found this video somehow and called me up and was like, help me, <laughs> this is where I would start with her. It'd be like, girl, you gotta admit that you're in denial, that you're doing the same thing over and over again and something has to change. This step really is the hardest step, but acknowledging that you participated in this process and one of the functions of it being maintained is your denial, your complicit participation in the back and forth with this man who clearly had so many red flags, but you ignore, that's the denial part. That comes by holding space, right? So if you're looking for a coach or a therapist, um, I'm kind of full right now. Listen, if you find me on YouTube, I do spiritual life coaching and this is my area of expertise. Uh, you can reach out to me, but please don't be mad. <laughs> Send me an email, right? Please don't be mad if I'm full. Um, I have a few slots available, but they go so fast. And by the time this video is up, who knows what it'll be like. But I, I really do make space in my schedule for black women who are invested in doing the healing work. So if that's you, right, this is a sidebar, send me an email and reach out and I'll let you know. So having a therapist or a coach who can hold space for you while you acknowledge like your participation in this um, to help release some of the shame and guilt and unpack the things that caused this in the first place. My second tip for summer, you, would be to get a spiritual mentor. So different than a life coach, different than um, a therapist, this is someone who's not, the power differential is not so great and you probably don't have to pay them, but access to someone that can direct your life in a way. I think Summer Walker had access to Erica Badu. Well, didn't Erica Badu deliver her twins or something like that? I Because of who Summer is, right? I feel like the, the way she pulls on my heartstrings is because she's so deeply connected and is really yearning for um, oneness with God and, and to let go of the emptiness that she feels. I think she's had strategic people placed in her life. And I think for you also, there are people in your life, I think right now, who you could call on. You might be surrounded by a lot of toxic people, but yeah, we don't live in just the absolutes of everything. It's not 100% toxic people. If you don't have anyone at all that you can identify right now, um, open yourself up. You know, ask God, the universe, to send you someone who can mentor you or be a part of your life and give you some spiritual guidance. It's a life changer. I'm telling you, like having access to people who um, lived in chaos but are currently living in peace is such an inspiration and can really shift the way your life is going. My next tip for summer for you is to get some really good daily habits. Life is lived in a day to day. I cannot stress this enough. What you do today, tomorrow, your regular routine, not when there's a big show, <laughs> right? Not when there's a big check, just when you're just doing regular stuff in your everyday life, that's, that's where life is lived. And so creating a routine and habits that just come naturally to you will change your life. Like what you do every day is who you become. I don't know what Summer is eating. She's looks like she's been able to maintain a healthy weight even with her pregnancies. Uh, but listen, there are people who are vegan who just eat junk food all day. You need to really be mindful about the kind of food that you eat. You need to make time for yourself to exercise, move your body. Like there's lots of ways to do it. You could be on the pole and that be your exercise. You could go for a walk and that's your exercise. Whatever it is, you just need to be doing it on a regular basis, three to four times a week. You also need to make sure in your daily routine, you have quiet time just for you. If you are a mother like me and Summer, you need to make sure that you have structures in place, support in place where you can take a break. 
where you don't have the mom label on you, where no no child, minor, is asking you for things. You just get a chance to, to be yourself. That might be getting up at 5 or 6 a.m. before everybody else gets up, so you just have some me time. It might be carving out, you know, weekend time so you can have a break or do something fun that's, you know, not kid-friendly. It might be staying at home and getting support from your husband or another family member or friend or babysitter who can make sure that even if you're home, if you're in your sacred place, your sanctuary, uh, you don't have to be the one fulfilling the needs of the kids. You get a break to turn your mind off from mom things. If you're not in a relationship, don't date. Take a break. I, I, I do also say that the amount of growing your soul will do and the evolution that's possible um, is exponential when you're in a relationship than when you're not in a relationship. But for people that jump from relationship to relationship, a really, really important thing for them is to take a break. So not just being by yourself, but also not pursuing a relationship. like actually saying i'm taking a break so that even when someone approaches you you'll be like oh i'm not dating right now so you just don't entertain people what you do is, is sort of like a, a cleansing of yourself you're, you're refreshing the palate so that you can be open to someone with lots of green flags if you are in a relationship the point of this tip is just to focus on yourself you can continue being in your relationship like re there's really no pressure to um end your relationship even though you know like summer is your partner might be cheating on you or is really toxic or you know whatever it is that is the dynamic of your relationship uh i like to stress no you don't have to leave you don't have to make a decision right now about whether you want to, to go or stay that decision will be made for you once you um do a certain amount of work your environment will become so discongruent, incongruent with who you are, that you will have no choice but to leave, right? Um, or, you know, your partner might get better. He might be inspired by you and want to improve his life and the way that he's interacting with you. That does happen. It's not <laughs> common, right? It's not like half of the time it happens. Um, but there are some men who rise to the occasion of, oh, she's working on herself. Oh, she's interacting with me differently because you, you still give love freely, right? But you do it with boundaries. During this time, you're also going to acknowledge and work on your flaws, whether you're controlling or demeaning, um, disrespectful, whether you need to really control your mouth, like whatever your flaws are, those are the things you'll be working on. Your job this time is just to become the best version of you. That's it. You just want to become better and better and better. You can do that in therapy by getting feedback on like, what is it that you want to work on? How can you become better? Which areas of your life need actual attention? And just do the practice. It's just a little bit every day, a little bit every week, getting better and better and better. And then my last tip for Summer Walker is to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and forgive other people. To become this woman who loves too much, um, who takes just so much negativity from a man, really, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of things that you participated in. There's a lot of mistakes that you made. And a lot of it is fueled by shame and guilt and feeling like you're empty inside. The forgiving of the self doesn't mean that what you did was okay. It doesn't mean what they did is right. It just means that you're accepting that it happened, accepting whatever you did and the consequences and deciding to move on deciding that you want something better for yourself and realizing that it is super important for you to prioritize yourself, to give yourself grace, to talk nicely to yourself in this process of becoming the best version of yourself. Those are my tips and by no means are they easy. They're not easy, right? I say this journey for me has been 10 years in the making to become this wonderful, peaceful, joyful woman. For some people, it might take a little longer. For you, it might be even faster. But to get through the muck and the mud to the other side of pristine pastures when you're leaving dry brown ground, but that's all you've known, uh, is hard. It's, it's like one of the most painful things you might do in life, like emotionally, spiritually, because you're literally tearing away, removing blockages, shifting the way you think, changing the way you do life. It's, it's not easy work, but I do think you're up for the challenge. Definitely. If you found this video, let me know if you have any questions. I answer comments. I think they're a wonderful place to go for support and help. 
um, or just to share part of your story, you know, saying things out loud is really, really powerful. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with someone you think it may help. Thank you for watching.